siamo ragazzi oh, 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 oh. mi piace questa canzone l'ho composta io <coughs> Continuiamo l'avventura in questo mondo animalesco che è quello di Chicken Police. Mi fate compagnia un paio d'ore, non di più. C'è già il bel jazz. Ci piace, ci piace. risolverli perché non vai gaming gaming perché automatica forse devi usare eh, sono stupido perché se no ci siamo ragazzi già salire con me sul radio ah so this is the famous zone infamous marty it's not for arc well at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective boss bird boss very bird. funny marty so what are we gonna do now we find natasha the broad who sent me the message remember but first we need to get into the club and marty please don't monkey this, don't monkey up. this up <gasps> excuse me on behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of club cut the crap marty Let's focus on as you say, boss. That fellow's built like a brick shit house. I don't think we'll be able to just sneak. Want to bet? Not today, Marty. Remember. Ah, okay. It's okay, Bertha. Maybe next time. Bertha. Il fucile Bertha. What was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. Did you bring Big Bertha with you? Gods, Big no. Bertha what are you thinking? Cheetah. What idiot? Was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> Howdy, pal. Gentlemen. Man. How can I help you on this wonderful, chilly night? Oh, we're expected in the VIP land. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. Uh, stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah. Ah, oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're... That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case... Non possiamo entrare. Se non siamo in lista, non possiamo entrare. Let's just knock that giant out, shall we? Let's just not do that. Okay. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallet. Don't be so radical, Marty. They're. How? It's not. Just bullshit. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth it. Wait, 
that was deep. Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Amazing. personaggi Let's not bother. Oh, let's just let's okay. Look, I really don't want any trouble. It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but this place doesn't like uh, coppers. coppers. Forget this line. They don't like coppers. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I'm... Listen here, you cow. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the paper? Of course, I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more, and I must admit it's an honor to meet you in person. Mr. Santino Featherland and... Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantares is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, not the books again. So it will be terribly inconvenient for me. What, what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, Pat. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And... No problem, Shakespeare. Say, big guy, you know... But of course, Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. Is that so? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. Yeah, so what yeah. can you tell me about the first lady of the place? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, Pat. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh... <clears throat> Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say... I didn't know that there was nothing to throw out. Says pal, I see your cleaning lady died. Says pal, I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in. Huh, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty lawn. Ah, right. Now that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. Ah, pretty, Jesus. huh? I can smell it. Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than a cl <laughs> The bitter old dog. Yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really... After you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and... <laughs> sure, just... I'm gonna cl...
So, Ibn's gone in. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood. You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? Why? So, about that woman. Is she really... <laughs> what woman? No, Zip. I mean... She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little furball. How dangerous do you think she is? Jeez, look at that. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Yeah, five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. Just one more thing. Uh, this list of yours. I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, you hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just don't get too excited, Marty. Not tonight. Whoa, look at that. It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen off all that's furry. Whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky. What a beautiful oh, man, I think. Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high quality? You mean when they wrote something about it? Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Now well, they got bored with us, Ma. But still, here we are working together. Yeah, hilarious. Let's just not. Let's just. Okay. Why is that? I don't know. You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, I am. Let's not bother her. Okay, boss. Girls, New 
Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not... Have I asked how Laura's doing? Whoa, hey, I'm... <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering. Like the rhino beauty... Interesting taste, you feathers, scales, or dermal armor. A lady's a lady, my friend. Thank the wild gods for self sa Ci troviamo sullo stallo, ragazzi. Non avrei bisogno di aiuto, ma nessuno di voi ha mai giocato a questo gioco, quindi sarò il primo a svelarlo. E mi toccherà anche tagli di stallo dopo. Perché adesso mi sa che rimarrò stallato. Allora, c'è qualcuno che ci deve dare, ci deve mettere in lista, dai. Abbiamo già io vedo. Simpatico questo di Milano lascia a non metterci in lista. Look at these two simpletons. <laughs> they don't even realize they're just... For the wild god's sake, don't dare... I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. We have no business. Hey, Monica. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, I understand. No problem. We'll meet at the annual party anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll tell Laura. Hello, gents. Everything all right? Everything's just fine, Sonny. Well, look, the Chick Police are together again. What a time to be alive. Am I right, Royce? <laughs> You're right, Foss. Hey, that reminds me. Look at what I found under my coat. It's her mad. Whoa, 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 don't shoot. We were just. The big bird out. <laughs> yeah, I was just joking. I wonder why they thought you would shoot at another cop. Hey, it's just happened once, okay? Am I right, boys? Beverly Hills Cops, di cui non ricordo il nome. Il ciccio tipo più vecchio e più saggio e il giovane malato dalle armi che forse una volta aveva dato proprio una pistola e si chiamava Big Bird you, you, you're right Marty yeah. and we all know it was an accident si? Sì? al Caesar però non piove 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 va di rotto one day neon signs will come. You read that in some kind of science. No, it's just what I think. So you have your own thoughts? Pluck off, Sonny.
giù analizzare le carte capire come entrare in questa cazzo di incisa Luisa cosa c'è da fare? When was the last time I was here? I don't know. You know, Sonny, times have changed, Marty. All right, all right, Bosper. Have you been there before? Uh, never. You know, it's not my style. It's too fancy for me. Yeah, same here. We're not gonna mingle like this, right? We're not searching for a tailor on New Year's Eve, okay? That'll be exciting. Let's just stay out of... What trouble? That's the spirit. So she just turned up with a message on this fly? Maybe I was bored. Or maybe there's more to this thing than meets the... Yeah, there's always... Maybe I just wanted to meet you, for old times' sake. That's not funny. <laughs> I've never had a good sense of humor. That's for sure. So the Czar Club, huh? My city's on fire. Sounds good. But that... It's not a clue. It's just a guide. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. Well, that's true. But it's never that easy with you, Boss Bird. There's nothing important, Ma. Uh, yeah. Marty. If you say so. <clears throat> oh, hi, Mr. Sinclair. Perché mi sento ritorno? Perché mi sento ritorno? Perché come al solito sono un deficiente, ho Twitch acceso. Quindi mi sento ritorno poco dopo. Pardon moi. Sinclair is doing fine. Yeah. And so what? Other animals talk to their plants. I can't believe you're allowed to walk... Oh, if you only knew what I'm packing right now. I don't want to know what's under your feathers, Ma. That's a good...
What's that? You know? That Natasha's a mysterious woman. A real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. Makes men but go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly... Bam! She got the whole club. Just like Bam. that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine. Yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club, right? The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah. The club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ippin's lover, but she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick. Mongrel Mick? Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this. That's my guess. Thanks for this straight Bravo, dope, Sim. We all won. You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. I clucking well. Thanks, pal. Hey, I'm not your pal. Let's see. You sure to eh, maybe to pass this Oh come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out Yeah, right. It's more than what many others get, believe. Okay, Zippy me out of the ragazzi mettete un seguo alla pagina ciao uno bianco benvenuto Mo moderatore de del mio cuore noto il copsar pig Tonight? Maybe. Oh, God forbid. Yes, gentlemen. Hey, big guy. Uh, My name is Archibald, Archibald, sir. Archibald, Archibald Conway. Conway. Well, that's not a Bob. It's not a Bob. Excuse me, monsieur. Archib. What? No way, that's not even a real... I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, but uh, my name is Archibald Conway, without any doubt. Blackjack Conway, to my friends. Well, thanks, Blackjack. It was a pleasure. We'll be on our way now. Let's just let's just okay. Say, big guy, is this your job to stand in front of the club and keep out decent fellows like us all night? Not entirely, monsieur. My employer has many other kinds of jobs for me. He is quite creative in his like, like what? 
Exactly. Sorry, monsieur. Permitted to say anything more about the matter. Regulations, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that, sir. I suppose I'm gonna... My wife. So am I staring well the floor. You're an asshole. I see you're swamped, but I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. Well, because he's a reptile? No, because he's a good-for-nothing piece of shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. And you? Are you letting off some... Something like that? We'll go and check out some CD joint. We're cops, after all, ain't we? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. Get a room, you two. Ah, shut up, Marty. What have you heard about the hop dump? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You should. What is it, Santino? What is it, Santino? No, nothing, sir. And you. Need something, Martin? No, sir. Then get out of my sight, Bert. Do you remember what I remember Blood Boy? My stupid shit. I remember Yeah, and I remember you. We have no... If it were a blood boy, true. Bam. The whole... The situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how the young mothers of the cobbler district are for... I have no idea what goes on in the hive, Sonny. I don't think I want to know. But Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks have to sell their kids. Wait, what? Why? They pay a hefty sum for each of them downtown. They sell them as gourmet food in the most expensive restaurants. Oh, I'm gonna... We made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget that.
gotta say, you've revamped the... Uh, after you trashed it, I had to. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Zip. Baboon, not gorilla. Baboon. <laughs> Whatever. Baboon. Funny. <clears throat> Watch your beak. So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement, Sonny. Mind your tongue for a... Ha! <laughs> You didn't get any younger. You're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since... To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep. <laughs> you will when the big sleep comes. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Of course. You got a... A couple. Yeah. But... You know what? Your mother's a goat. Your mother's a goat. What's this no insect allowed shit? What do you think? If I let one in, all of them will follow. And then I can forget my regular clientele for... What clientele? There's no one in... That's it. Would you take even that away from me? What's this no insect? What do you... What? That's it. He sure didn't get any... Oh, prettier. You think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a... I don't give a damn. c'è una lista qua Tommy ha pronunciato 555312 ho letto il numero di telefono no no sbagliato Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Well, uh, bye then. Well? It's quite the party over there. That's good. It'll be easier to mingle that way. If we get there in time. Yeah. We better go. Uh... come entriamo noi ironic but i haven't That's Lewis. Be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old... Should I thank him or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. You're reading my mind, boss. Totally. Cosa fammi vedere 
Okay, option. Vi vill setting. No. Ah, non c'è neanche tipo... <coughs> Basta, that's all I got. That's all I got. Arci palle, non trovo qualcosa. Mi mi arrivano. What do you know about Ibn Wessler? They say he's keeping a pretty low profile these days. But he's been seen in the company of the attorney. <coughs> attorney General Hamtaro, eh? Why are you so interested in that rat? You want another hole? It's just professional curious. Yeah, of course. Of course. And, uh, and I'm a fluffy little them. lamb. Whoa, 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 you forgot to mention this nugget about the case, Sonny? Ibn clucking Wessler? What the hell did you get in? As far as I remember, you didn't let me tell you in the first place. You're a piece of shit, Sonny, you hear me? Easy, chicken. I'll tell you everything soon enough. Let's just get the hell out of here. Uh, if I already told you it's a pleasure working with you again. No, but that's always good to hear. Uh, fuck off. Why is it so quiet in here? The midnight madness is yet to come, Sonny. My time's too valuable for that. And you're trespassing. Rules of suspension, remember? Who, us? R <laughs> if you say so. But I advise you to keep it low. Especially you, Sonny. 121. Don't be a knucklehead and get you. Thanks for your eternal wisdom, Bosco. I'm deaf. Isn't it your lucky we? Excuse me. Great wilderness. Just keep a low profile, will ya? It's Don't new. worry, Chow Hound. We know what we're doing. Yeah, of course you do. That's what I'm afraid of. That's a mean. In un bel video ragazzi What is it? No, nothing And you? No, then get out We have no business Seriously, who said I have? Bye, Mandy. See you soon. <laughs> You've named the poster girl. You're what? Me? sta sfuggendo e non so che cos'è Time to go partner It'll take half an hour or more to get there to the club then I'm curious look Marty we're not going there to have fun okay I know I know we work together nine oh do you have any gun of course not chickens well <laughs> I'll go crazy on the long ride without Chicken, it and I'll you? go crazy from you beaking it ah Sonny it's a pleasure working Look, I really don't think it's even more inconvenient. Listen here, you cow. Do you have any idea? Of course, I know. Oh, my. So it... What, what did you... Relax. Thank you. For... No problem. What can you tell me about the first... What can you tell... What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Look, I really don't want any trouble. Okay. Jeez, look, that's not a beautiful car. Yep, as you say. Because sono stuck. Cazzo, sono stuck. 
Let's not bother her. Okay, boss. Descent Cop, Touch to Have you started on your... I've already... <laughs> You'll have to earn... Maybe in a... You know, well, don't you? No? Uh, yeah, but no shit. You have what we came for? I just want. All right, Sonny. You have what we came for? I just want to look around. All right, Sonny. Then grab your map and let's hit the road. Let's go. What do you say? to board it up it may be run sure you can live it believe me marty I... uh, why am i not when was the last time you've slept in your bedroom Strange. I that's weird. I was just thinking this. What is it, chicken? Look, Marty, the pincushion can amazing. Fuck off. Many days? About three. We? And that's your pro. Yeah, I've been. At poor's. Oh, it means. Oh. Huh. Ouch.
the Czar Club. I'm not going to forget this buzzing red neon light and... Say, big guy, is this your job? To stand it? Not entirely. Like? Like what? Exactly. Sorry, monsieur. I'm not permitted to say anything. So sorry to hear that. This wreck? Well, it's a wreck, just like it. Are you sure that thing's a dog? The name Hop. Sometimes. A natural bull. <laughs> yeah, right. A natural bull genius. There used to be such life around here before it became an insect. Game. That was a very long time ago. I was a little chick. And the hop dog had the best pang. Well, since it became the owner, the cook, and the waitress, I imagine it's all gone to... <laughs> True. But at least the coffee's good. That's right. I have no idea what that mongrel's doing with it, and I don't want to know. But... Even though it's a man... You know what? the insect yeah they're afterlife if they want to go into the light they set themselves on fire. yeah i've heard that maybe it's not that depends on your point of view maybe he can't understand oh, he indifferent you think i'm i did i'm not never too i hope you're right What's this? No insect. What? what? That's it. Zip one. Zip once had Marty do the dishes because he tried to take off without paying. You still don't eat meat? I'm a rooster. I don't mean... Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I... Because you can. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. I don't care what you eat, but don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off. trash pan um, as always a 
and voila. What? Uh, Sonny, he's a... Don't make me angry, Mom. Okay, I was only joking. Sono bloccato qui. Non so dove andare. E non c'ho nessuno che mi aiuta. Ah, poor bug. And you, yeah, yeah, that dip. Tonight? Maybe we'll be on the front. Oh, God forbid. Jeez, look. That's not a. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. Pleasure's all mine, Laura. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways. Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. I see you. See you inside? I have something to do, my pal, but I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. Look, Lewis, that bouncer over there. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his... Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight... Oh! Um... <clears throat> Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he... Yeah, something... No, 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 no problem no at problem all. all. Come with me, I'll talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? No. Sir. Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. Naturellement, sir. Uh, and as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one. Thanks, old pal. It was my pleasure to help you. Prima non si poteva parlare con lui, se non ci si poteva parlare. The jazz parla overwhelmed us. Dentro. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've if never, you ever seen never seen it. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter, no matter how, how alien I feel, it was strange it was a like strange drunk home. coming home. Come to Welcome to the Tsar. Look, here we are. Take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. Oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called... I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. It's fun, it's this time real. it's for real. I'm not saying yeah. Two whiskeys, kid, and no horsing around. Horsing around. I've never heard that one before. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face, give me a glass of tap water, too. Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well. Sure. Maybe I have it with... Uh, 
Why? Well, do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. Of all the furry gods, you're... And they've just left it on the bar. Someone ordered it, got so drunk he forgot all about it. So we're confiscating it as evidence. <laughs> yeah, well, more like stealing it. But if it's easier for you... Ah, uh, you're twisted, pal. Sister. But to be honest... Hmm... Look, uh, Sonny, I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Monty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco... Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I... Look, I... Good. And let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure. Hey, there's Film... Who? Oh, yes. Filmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay. Mr. Dumbass Alias, Phil Mar. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time ago. Was I was scary. young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe, and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you, doing what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beat? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. Don't even ask. I feel exactly... You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes. Just the usual. Oh, oh boy. boy. You? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame Natasha. named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is her. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any useful information? For free? Stop clucking around. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out, in which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other, I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Bravo, Cicetto. Ha detto di andare a trovare quando abbiamo provato qualcosa. È arrivato. Cazzo di Bianna Cazzo di capo seen the tap not yet sir but she's coming on soon well can you tell me anything Most about mr done. ibn wessler no, sir no. i i don't Basta want to what about let's see but sir you haven't even paid for your drinks yet 
Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, Big Nose. You do your job, and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to... Oh, yeah, exactly. Just a I little fun. Said, but it's weird. Of course, gentlemen. This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. Hey, Monty. I bet you wouldn't dare to go up to him and ask if he hasn't seen your fur coat. What? Why? I'm mad, yeah, but... Not... Yeah. Are you chicken? Piss off, old bird. Yeah. Chicken shit. Chicken shit. Isn't that... Yes, it is. The great Ibn Wessler, the in the flesh. So much for our income. You think he noticed us? Only if he's not entirely blind. Great. Just act nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that? Oh, no, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. Scusate, dovevo fare tutta nera allora, ma che è sta mezza cosa? Vabbè. Oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The most accomplished in person. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is, uh, Marty McChicken. Sir, I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Hello, boys. So... To what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were... Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood-red paint. The usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's, a uh, nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so he's rather tired. He's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? Doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So. How can I help you? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. Look, detective, if you want to know something... To All right, Mr. Wessler. Nice bunker you got here. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. Listen, detective, if you want to know something, please ask. All right, Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more. I'm not as exciting as people tend to believe. I grew up in a poor family of many siblings. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started. I wouldn't call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Shall we talk about something else? So not to say. Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture in this city. So it's only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that still worth it? The name is just a name, of course, but the man behind the name is another matter, Mr. Fiddler. You're a pragmatic rat. Thank you.
Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. Let me answer your question then. I've been in Mr. Wessler's employment for six months. Oh, just uh, routine questioning, you know. Most of them aren't good for anything. Just it sounded rude to me. Yeah, please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Hmm. That woman with Ibn. I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, Pat. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. How did you feel when you... Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we... No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. You seem a very busy man. May I ask what you do? Eh, it's uh, uninteresting. Would you elaborate? Eh, I got a small share in the meat substitute business. If the new product works, eh, maybe we can make your job easier. You mean reduce predation in Clawville? There are such plans, uh... If you're interested, talk to Olivia, my assistant. She's an expert in what she does, uh, unlike me. Thank you. That's it for now. Is this place yours? No, it's not mine. Never been yours in the past? Yeah. Why do you ask questions you already know the answer to, huh? Yeah, it was mine. Now it belongs to Natasha. She's my girlfriend. What a coincidence. How are your alibis, Mr. Wessler? Am I a suspect? <laughs> that was fast. But thank you for asking. They're solid. Just ask Olivia. She can enlighten you in this matter, too. No need. And no, you're not a suspect. Yet. No more than everyone else in Clawville. That's, uh, reassuring. Wessler is tougher than I thought. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Gently beat around the bush. Are you and Natasha close? What do you mean exactly, chicken? Mr. Featherland, if you please. This could be important. How does she stand on the scale from sweetheart to wife? Maxi bon. Mini Maxi bon. Normal. Oh, 
You have some nerve. Ask her that. I'm a gentleman, Mr. F really? Maybe you can't comprehend it, but I can't ask for her hand until she offers it to me herself. How chivalrous. Get to the point, detective. Business going well. Ibn is quick-tempered, and I can use that to my advantage. I've confounded and softened him with my previous questions. Now it's time to be specific and ruthless. Have there been similar threats in the past? Right to the point, yeah? Yeah, I get it. But sadly, this is a dead end, my friend. No. No threats like these, uh, whether you believe it or not. Well, it really seems like a dead end, so I'll just back up and try from a different... You do that. The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out, huh? A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, muse. Uh. So, uh, how was it? Uh, uh, when was it? Ex you don't remember. That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the Millions back then. <laughs> she was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap and there's expensive. You get what you can afford. Do you live in the same house as Nat? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yeah, at my place in Goldtown. But she has her own kind of a weekend house. Mm. How often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend, roughly. I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she... Yeah, I know what you're getting at, but I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are... F mm, illegal gambling. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy by the roulette. Always putting it all on. Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, can we... Mm, I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, true detective. Yeah, baby. Thank you for your time. We'll be seeing you. I have no doubt about that, unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. You know, for old time's Marty. sake. Give her pure Marty. Marty. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. Please take a seat. The show's gonna start. I didn't sell the show.
di Natascia. Mi ci vuole una bella tira. Sonny, I call it. I call it. That is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment. Forgive me, my name is Santino Featherland. <laughs> I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. More or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Sometimes less is more. You were amazing, dear, as always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Eben will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. <laughs> My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey, I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another... I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. She wore danger like a perfume. Like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted me, like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone as she whispers her melodies. Or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop. And a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? In a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a... I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway... Uh, yes, look. It's Sonny. 
saves us a lot of time. Okay, so... So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my front. It must be exhausting. It is, but you're not the type to beat around the... Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Sarah, please. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Oh, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Come to daddy, darling. Mas isso é um blado. Seriously, how did you find me? Not even my boss knows where I... Although I didn't include Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. Yeah, let me guess. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. And otherwise? Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. This woman's aware of her charm, and she... She needs so. Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that. But I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. That was a remarkable... I'm glad you enjoyed... Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But the stage still calls my name. And I perform just a few times a year. And always with so. a new song. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. place is very out. Why, thank you. I kind of feel like I'm in a... Well, that depends <coughs> on the kind of museum. The kind with nice things. Oh. Suspiciously nice things. Do you think I'm suspicious? We'll see about that. Try me. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind... Those who admire me usually oh, idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me. Mr. Detective. Ah, I see. Why Deborah? She's a nice... Didn't you ask her the same thing already? I did, but I like to hear it. Mm, well, 
since this whole thing started, I admit I'm not too keen on leaving my home. When I do, it's only with an escort. Ibn Wessler has nothing to do with... Ibn has everything to do with me. Almost everything. But I didn't want to upset him with this. He thinks I'm overreacting. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. What, want to know. what was in those threats? The message itself is not a threat. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? You really don't have any idea which word could be used for a woman like me? I guess I do. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Poor. Poor. <clears throat> Cat's got your tongue, am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking. And yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall in giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Could the threats have anything to do with the dangerous relation? You mean I'm a cat and he's a rat? Every interracial relationship has risk. But yes, this one's more conspicuous than most. Quaville's a very open and free city. But I guess you see more radical transgressions than I do. One of the most common causes in homicidal and predatory cases, ma'am. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody ever questioned our relationship openly. We are what we are. And you know, if you're interested in my personal feelings, danger fills our relationship with a flavor no other can replace. It must be one interesting relationship, that's for sure. I'm not sure I can feel the same, but I can certainly understand it. Maybe one day you'll experience it, Sonny. Have you ever been with a predator before? Well... Well... That's unsteady ground, Natasha. Let's turn the questioning around, if you... <laughs> As you... How many fools like me have you... you... In all my life? I nah, just forget it. I don't want to know. Curiosity kills a cat. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're not a fool, Sonny. I know that was supposed to be a kind of insult, but it usually rolls right off me. I can't take cock-a-doodling, so you can put aside the strutting stuff while you're talking. Fair point. Broadcast received. Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Let's stop beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. I'm sorry, I didn't... Really? <sighs> I, I did. I knew I checked you out before I sent Deborah. 
Luck me. This case is getting more and more intriguing. What exactly do you want from me? You are really as good as they say you are. And I'm not selling lucky dips, Ani. Find them, whoever they are, and... Whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. You know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the case. I'm not afraid. You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must solve this. As soon as you can. Money's not an issue. Male. Come on, Kuzi. Male, not bad, but not good either. It's okay for a rookie, but you can do better next time. Put yourself together and pay attention to the sign. Focus, Sonny. Important to detect or rather the threatening war in the masses is a completely simple war. This video is about sees a lot, regardless. Poteva darmi qualcosa di più? Ci vogliamo riprovare? Non lo so se ci vogliamo riprovare. E alla fine penso di essere andato abbastanza buono, però uh, no, evidentemente no. 40 è un po' poco, riproviamoci. Natasha is a That was I'm glad you said to that I have many The picture on the wall. Only if you knew how old I am. I think I'm on a slippery. Come on, don't be. All right. How old? <laughs> Did you really believe I. You're quite a player. Life is anything. Well, you tell me. Do you think. The you know. That. Huh? Don't disappoint me, Sonny. I'm just a simple old cop. I sincerely hope that's not deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide. What was it? The message. But a word. Exactly. So you I hope <coughs> get well. <laughs> Suggest. What do you mean by that? Until this matter blows over. Maybe you could put us... Do you think I'm doing all this because... On the contrary. If I hid, I would give whoever wrote those messages what they want. And I'd let my fans down. Well, that's vanity speak. You misunderstand me, son. Maybe I do. I could say I half understood you, but I think that would be an overstatement. How many fools like me? In all I just uh, fair point attack. Let's I'm I don't I, I, yeah, I look yeah, I'm uh, pluck me. What exactly do you want from me? You whatever no, you know I'm not a you're you must solve this. Frank Drevin Frank Drevin is quello di una pallottola spuntata, stupendo. E no, rifacciamolo. Natasha. That was I'm the said so that I have many facciamo di sbaglio. Uh, the play Wait, I can make this do you will try me. What can you tell? You should be more How did you meet him? Of course, you're intrusive, but I guess that's an occup. <laughs> I was a dancer here in the club, in a needed.
Don't you see a cop? That's a disappointing. I am a cop. Yes, but you're different. You're too rough. Am I that transparent? A little bit. My eyesight's better. Seriously, Natasha, don't you worry about? Of course I worry about it. I'm not stupid. Beh, figo Those who are clever learn to fear. Interrogatori possono I andare in diversi. Age. Before I even had the chance to in in diverse strade. Gee, well, thank you for your honest deep behind the diamond skin. Lie. What was it? the mess? But a excuse. <laughs> yes. Could the threat you ever close one of the well, I it must made what well. that's a <laughs> how many in a fair point? Let I'm, me, I oh. don't uh, yeah. I look, yeah. I'm uh. luck me. You played me, it wasn't my in I'm an old cock, Natasha. I've played too many of these games, and I've been on the losing side. I'll so you're going to you're damn right i don't know if it's worth it for me. look sonny money's oh yeah your fawn had already mentioned that but unfortunately it'll be hard to spend all that dough when i'm dead dead don't even do you have a gun me of course you natasha do you have not at the moment well let me give you some advice keep it with you always maybe in your purse you you don't oh. think they whoever they are would hurt me don't be naive natasha you're right i'll keep it with me i don't want to scare you but two cops snooping around can mess something like this up even if it's just two roosters two roosters you'll keep snooping thank you sonny maybe you're getting yourself into even deeper trouble with me thank me when this is all over Sessanta, dai, ce la teniamo. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha. Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early. Look, Natasha. Please. This is very in Sure. I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Calling Boo's darling. It's kind of weird, don't you think? There's someone who calls his gun collection his hurry. Touche. I'll shut it. Good birdie. Well? Weren't you supposed to be waiting in the car? I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You thought Natasha had eaten me alive. Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little fragile thing. Fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. Oh. It's you. Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? You don't beat around the... Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So, yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. <laughs> well, thanks for the... Uh... Anything else?
abbiamo un nuovo place no, abbiamo un nuovo place perché no? not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? <clears throat> Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Nat? We've talked a bit. That's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the Pretty st well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. Do you come here often? No, not really. Well, okay. You're welcome. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. Non volevo parlarci. So, dopo che avevo parlato. Have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was uh I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman. You're uh too old for this shit, huh? As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you think. Good to know, oh, that that makes my feathers stand on end. end. Ah, old croakers, you're safe while I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't say anything. The truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that sniffed. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for what? Mm -hmm. You've got a point. Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny. I swear I've heard that before. Nah, to be honest, me... So, Natasha... That's either very good news or... 50%. That's not that bad. That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah. He's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! Who is this woman anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but it's worth keeping an eye on her. And... Uh, more women. You're oh, already more fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway... The pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. Grazie, Excuse me, pal. Eh? Gabriel, what do you want? Chicken. Do you happen to know where Mr. Wet... Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Okay. We stepped into it, didn't we? Of all that's furry... What kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. 
Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. She's the secret that's... Uh... Thanks, Philmar. This could be important. Uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, shut up, Marty. We stepped into it, didn't we? Sì, ma non potevi fare di sul mare almeno. Ci sono scritti un po' di nomi di cani, evidentemente. If there's one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. Balls to the wall. Ah, this place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. Ok ragazzi, per stasera ne abbiamo abbastanza, un bel gioco, attenzione. Damn, it's not a good sign. Maybe she just lost it when she hurt. Yeah. Do you think it belongs to Natasha? No idea. Do you think? Not sure I want to know, but... Per stasera, buono così. Abbiamo risolto un po' di misteri, il video lo ritrovate su YouTube già da domani, quindi se avete dei dubbi su come andare avanti troverete le soluzioni qua. È stato un bel casino. Caesar Club ma ce l'abbiamo fatta e ritorniamo domani alle 3 con un'altra puntata di Cinema Chilling dove avremo una bella sorpresa per l'Italia ma ve la svelerò domani vi ringrazio tutti per l'attention Pato Stratos vi saluta e ci vediamo domani